Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Monday morning meditation and Happy New Year. It's a beautiful New Year day here. And hopefully it is where you are also. We are finishing up our seven steps for releasing 2022 as we sit here in the fullness of 2023. We're just going to finish up our process. We have been working with the seven steps for releasing the old year and moving into the new year. Um, the process by Jane Elizabeth Hart of Center for Enlightenment. Um, I've been doing this process for the year, probably, my goodness, probably for about 25 years, every year working with this and um, using it to just have nice um, <laughs> year hygiene, <laughs> cleaning up and releasing the old and, and embracing and being open to all the new possibilities that we have in the new year. So the last couple of steps that we've worked on this last week were the release, review and release, step six, and completion, step seven. And for the year, these steps included writing a letter to God, to your higher power, whatever you, however you refer to that spiritual presence that's bigger than what we are. Um, and writing in that letter, all the things that you're releasing, you know, whatever stands out to you to let go of, especially, and making a commitment to yourself for the new year. At least that's how I write it. I like to say, okay, this is what I've learned from this last year. And this is what I really want to improve on within myself, my Usually for me, it's some form of self-discipline, you know, where, where I'm meditating more consistently every day or journaling more consistently or ah, stretching or, you know, whatever it is. We might call them New Year's resolutions, but um, they're really commitments to ourselves and what we want to see in the new year. That is, after reflex, reflecting on the previous year, what are the things that are really going to support us? What did we learn that of our desires that are valuable to move forward and bring with us? And which ones were like, yeah, that was that was nice, but you know, I didn't really stick with it, or it wasn't as fulfilling as I thought it was going to be. So I don't need to bring that into the new year. So, you know, those kind of things. That's why that letter, writing that letter, releasing the old year and committing to yourself in the new year it can be very valuable keeps us on track in our meditation next week we're going to be focusing on um what is our personal theme for the year and i'll talk more about that next week but right now since we have all seven steps to do in our meditation time i'm just gonna have us get started so if you're not already comfortable in your space where you're sitting, just get physically comfortable. So as you relax, you can just let go and let your body melt into your chair. So there's no thought of any body part. <laughs> Take a couple of deep breaths to help your body melt into your space. Allowing everything to relax as much as possible. And if there's tension or any body area that holds your attention, just let it be okay. And I invite you to feel or see a, a warm, healing light moving through the top of your head. I 
all the way down your body. Relaxing every muscle as it goes. All the way down to your feet on the floor or they're resting on something. Just feel that light moving from your head all the way down through your feet. And if it's helpful, take another deep breath and let that relaxation move you more deeply into a space within yourself. We call it your center, your grounded place. And then we see before us those seven steps. Glowing with a light. And a beautiful, bright, supportive light shining down those seven steps. And as you approach them, feel that basket of the year in your arm. That basket with 2022. All the experiences and people, the things, the ups and downs. Just feel that basket of the year in your arms with love, appreciation. We take the first step of gratitude. Step up onto this step with that basket in your arms and think about some of those things that you've written down or that you've thought about in this process that are especially meaningful for you from the last year. We feel the love and gratitude for these people, places, things, situations that brought good things to your life in 2022. Maybe there were even some difficulties that once you were on the other side, you're so grateful for because you learned about yourself, you move through something difficult. 
and you're grateful to be on the other side, whatever, whatever is on your list, just say thank you, thank you, thank you for being in my life and enriching me so that I am more of who I can be today. We take a deep breath and we release all of these, all of these wonderful situations from the previous year that we're so grateful for. And we say thank you for the new people, places, situations to be grateful for that are coming in the new year. We release the old one so that we can have our eyes wide open for the new one. And in gratitude, we take the next step. The step of good times. We get to look into our basket and see those special good times of 2022 kind of pop up in our basket a little bit and remind us of those wonderful experiences. The good times we had perhaps with our loved ones or even on our own doing something that was meaningful to us. Maybe some of our gratitude items are on our good time step as well. That's okay. They feel that love and gratitude for them on this step as well. we say thank you. Thank you for these good times from our year that blessed us and lifted us, maybe came at just the right time so that whatever difficulties we had in the year just helped lighten us up around those difficulties. We are grateful for those good times and we release them right now. With gratitude, thank you, thank you. Thank you for blessing my year and I open myself to the new good times in the new year. They will be there. When we are in the new year with our eyes wide open for those wonderful moments. I'm taking a deep breath. We move on to the next step of hopes and dreams, our unfulfilled hopes and missed opportunities. I like to call it the step of expectations. What were your expectations from 2022? What were your hopes and dreams and desires? We 
Let those come to the surface of your basket. Let's review those desires that seemed so important at the beginning of 2022. And then by the end of the year, for whatever reason, maybe just life happened or they became not as valuable as the year went on, or maybe they were completed. But we acknowledge those hopes and dreams that are, that we're finished with. Maybe the completed ones ended up on our gratitude or good time step. Maybe we just feel a sense of accomplishment for those hopes and dreams that were completed. And we acknowledge those desires, those expectations, hopes and dreams that we had for 2022 that did not get fulfilled. by the end of the year, and maybe the opportunity has just passed. And so we've, we are releasing those hopes and dreams that just aren't relevant anymore. We release those hopes and dreams that were unfulfilled for whatever reason. And the beauty of this step is we get to evaluate what, what's worthy, what is worthy of us carrying into the new year? Who am I today? And what are my desires for today? Are there any from 2022 that are worthy to carry over, probably. But even those we release to have fresh eyes on them in the new year. Whatever desires have to do with stretching outside of our box, our limited idea of who we are, those are worthy to carry over. Any forgiveness work we have, it's worthy to carry over. Any healing, any practices that ground us in our health at every level, We often focus on our physical practices in the new year. And those are certainly valuable. And they're out picturing of a greater commitment to who we are on the inside. Maybe there are practices that are all on the inside that help us with our outsides, meditation, journaling, forgiveness. Being present with our breath throughout the day, all of these. will be valuable for us in the new year. So we release all these hopes and dreams, 
even the ones we're carrying over. And I say, thank you. Thank you for the unanswered prayers. Thank you for the answered, achieved dreams. And thank you for the ones that will support us in the new year. Let us not waste any time on lesser desires that don't support us knowing more of who we are. We take a deep breath and letting them go. We take the next step. The step of disappointments and difficulties. And maybe some come to mind just even thinking about disappointments or difficulties that you moved through in 2022. Let them all come to mind right now. Notice any emotion that may still be tied into them. Let that come up and out. We just let them remind us of what we've grown through. And I invite you to let your resistance to them come up too. The resistance that says, I wish I didn't have to go through that. Of course, of course we do. Just let it come up and out because we did move through it and we are here. Maybe there's one or two disappointments or difficulties that are arising that could use a little more journaling, a little more reflection on whatever it is we need to look at, to really let it go, to let the situation go or let the person go, to free ourselves from any decisions or opinions that aren't going to serve us in the new year.
And we say even thank you for these challenges that we've been through that whether we can see it right now or not, strengthened us, grew us. Bless us in some way. And now we release all of these disappointments and difficulties from 2022. We just let them float out of our basket, like absorbed into that light that surrounds us. And these steps. Take a deep breath and take the next step of forgiveness. And we just let come to the surface of the basket all those people or situations that we have forgiven in the year 2022 and Anything that still needs to be forgiven. Right now we bring those to the surface. Maybe it's a, a person or more than one person or situation or ourselves. I've always found that even forgiving another person is always about forgiving myself. And when our natural state is peace, any unforgiveness that we're holding on to is an impediment to that peace. And so this act of self-love, self-compassion, unconditional love, we forgive. And as we forgive, we are growing our peace, our light, our ability to be aware. Our ability to be aware day to day expands as we let go of any emotional leftovers that we're carrying.
I'm going to take a deep breath and embrace these people, situations, our own self. And this unconditional love of forgiveness, we release it all right now. With another deep breath, we step onto the next step, the review and release step. This is where we check in with ourselves and see if there's any unresolved attachment from all that we've moved through the other five steps. Maybe we need a little bit more journaling time. It's okay. It's still just the first part of the new year. We have plenty of time to release at depth whatever we need to release. Give it the time and attention that is worthy of our forward movement. And this is the step where we also release everything, 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 all the, all that we're grateful for, all the good times, our hopes and dreams from last year, our disappointments and difficulties, and all the forgiveness work that we've done. release all of that into this light around us. Just let it be absorbed. All the items in your basket being floating up and being dissolved into that light. And now we move on to the final step of completion. We are so grateful for the year that we've moved through triumphantly. And we open our eyes, our minds, our hearts, our whole self to the new year. Knowing that there are new opportunities to grow, to heal, to stretch, to love. To serve our brothers and sisters of humanity.
And in your mind right now, I invite you to just lift your basket of 2022 up into this light and let it float into that light. Let it float up, up, up until you don't see it anymore. Feel that light all around you on this final step. That light surrounds you and in every cell of your body. Breathe in that light. It gives us everything that we need for the new year. We can tap into that every day, any moment of every day. Or that intuitive. wellspring of support. Take another deep breath right now and let those steps dissolve and float you to the ground and Gently, gently back into the chair and your surroundings. Feel your body in the chair once again. Your feet on the floor or wherever they're resting. Feel your own presence in your body, now filled with light, light of the new year, the light of 2023. Just feel the gratitude and love and joyful anticipation for this year. Even any challenges that might Arise, we walk into those with this light and this new strength we've gained from having gone through last year. And we bring our grounded, solid, peaceful presence into this day, into this week. I invite you to tap into that light within you every day. If no other commitment lasts throughout the year, let this one last. Let this be the most, most important thing you do every day to 
acknowledge this light within you. Everything else will fall into place as we do that. If you have time this morning to continue sitting in that light, I invite you to do so. If you need to go about your day, then take a couple of deep breaths and let yourself slowly ground yourself into the day, into your presence. Thank you again this week for taking the extra time. I will normally keep us to our half hour meditations, but this, this is a special occasion releasing the year and taking time to do that for ourselves. So thank you. Thank you for participating in all of these weeks that we've been working on letting go of 2022. And I look forward to a new year with new meditation time with you. And again, if there's nothing else you're doing every day, let it be your meditation time. Have a wonderful week. Happy New Year. And I look forward to tuning in with you again next week. Bye-bye.